Well, I came to the Rainbow because I really like to come to the Rainbow every year, if I can, as a place for me to do healing, both within myself and in the bigger circle of people that we connect with, to remember the Great Spirit really is in full control and uh, to be feeling a sense of joyness, joyfulness and uh, gratitude to reconnect me to Pachamama. And for this year, I feel like the mountains were very inviting. The mountains were speaking loudly. Well, last year we, in Slovakia, we built a moon lodge for women to come to far away in the forest. It was, it was so women could come when they wanted to come away. And then this year, I, I had a phone call from Tom saying, Tom, Sam, will you help me do the full moon? Will you focalize the full moon? So I said, yes, yes. So this was my job this year. And it was clear from the beginning, we had a big circle of both men and women, everybody was invited, that somehow this year the feminine needed to be honored in the full moon. So, this Why? Because after the full moon, there was this incredible constellation in the sky. It was two triangles coming together to make like a, a, a Merkaba, and one was a very a female triangle of water, and one was a female triangle of earth. So it was a time of yin, or very soft energy. So this year it was time to not have big, big rah, but almost like as, the, as we have gone through a paradigm shift, we are on the other side of 2012. The timing was just, the Mayan New Year was, Mayan year was ending. The full moon, this beautiful constellation. There were many, many signs to, sh to ask us this year that the sacred feminine was deeply honored in the light of the full moon. So this is what we did. And the women, and the men, I had a men's circle as well, and the women had a women's circle. And the men agreed that they would let the women sort of run this year. And the women were very into the idea of service, song, with serving food, uh, and to have time where we recognized the women are the women, the men are the men, and the sweetness when we come together. Very beautiful, very soft, very gentle. Maybe too soft and gentle for some guys who want big party at full moon, you know? Maybe it was about changing the recipe a little bit for rainbow, because sometimes it can get a bit formed. And this was a chance to just do it a little bit more differently. And I'm used to doing ceremony, never for a thousand people. <laughs> it was very scary. I think it was good. And there was something about the man and the woman coming together and seeing the reflection, because when the moon is full, the sun and the moon are opposite to each other. So the idea is they reflect the light. The moon reflects the light of the sun. So this was an opportunity for the women to reflect the power and the solar light of the men. So yeah, this is why we chose to do it like this. <laughs> I have really missed the circles. We haven't had enough circles. So we haven't had talking circles. We haven't had heart sharing circles. We've had plenty of workshops, and lots of inspiration, but I've missed the circles. And I think the circles are the thing that connect new people in the rainbow to the ones who've been here a few times. It's how we share our energy and our information. And there is no, that, that for me is the thing that has been missing this time. So now in the Vision Council, there are many things being discussed because they didn't seem to get aired during the, the, the gathering. So uh, whereas usually the vision circle is, is for choosing where we are headed next and how we are going, this time there is many more things to be talked about. So this is the one thing I would say I missed. And in terms of being high up and away from the world meant I have not seen a single drop of alcohol. I have seen very little of anything else. It's been very clean, very clear, very beautiful, very nice. I think with our intention, we are very powerful. We are very high and uh, light beings. And I really do think we have an impact in terms of a way of thinking, an opportunity to do it very differently, to be without money, to be uh, interdependent and co-supportive and collaborative and cooperative. These qualities are the qualities that the outside society needs so deeply. And when we hold them as strongly as we do, Yes, I think we do have an impact on the outside world. And even for me, I return back to England. I have, I have to studying to do, I have jobs, and I take everything with me that I have learned here. And uh, I become rainbow, and rainbow becomes me. And I think in that way, when we go back into society, we take that energy with us. And that's, I think, how we impact 
I don't think people look at Rainbow and think, oh, let's, you know, let's run our lives like that. No, we are on the periphery, but we're on quite high periphery. And I definitely think our impact, it's subtle and it's energetic. But I do think we have one, yeah. <laughs> I think my best memory at the begin was right at the beginning, you know, when suddenly I felt like I was in a family. I really, when people said, welcome home, I really felt like I'd come home. That was extraordinary. I was in a field with a whole load of people I'd never met before, and yet the heart welcome was so extraordinary that I instantly felt welcome and family, and I still feel like this, even though people from all over Europe. And, uh, and this rainbow, I think, for me, there was, there was the full moon. It was a big thing to do. <laughs> because here, nobody, you, you can't tell people what to do. You can suggest, you know? And it's a big thing to suggest to a thousand people, especially when people have expectations of a certain way of doing it. And this year, we did it quite differently. And I do think this has had an impact in terms of a softness and a gentleness through the gathering. And, uh, and it stood out if somebody has been aggressive or somebody has been louder, it shows. People are like, bring it down, bring it down. So the vibe is very sweet. So that's what I take in my heart, is the sweetness. This year's rainbow is very sweet. Are there things, uh, what uh, would you like to change on rainbow? What, uh... Talking circles, definitely. Um, and we need it, we didn't... More tools and maybe more continuity. We were talking with a brother from the World Gathering and he was saying uh, in, in Canada and other places they have like a trailer that starts the kitchen going when they arrive somewhere and I think this integration between clean technology, carbon free, clean technology and the rainbow, I think it's time we could start to make some steps in the direction of maybe having compost toilets that really work. Um, we have this technology, it's easy, we do it at festivals, you know, it's not difficult to build compost toilets, it's not, that really work, you know, that are sustainable after we've gone, that this, this can be used. I think the capacity to have a sink in the kitchen, you know, very basic things, but I, I think we have reached the point now where we can start to integrate some grassroots off-grid technology into the way that we are. Even if we are only present for one month, these things can still be done, I really believe. It's time for a connection, maybe to stop this Babylon thing, to recognize there are many good things happening in Babylon. And actually we can re embrace some of those in the same way we would love Babylon to, ex to, to, to embrace some of the things that we are holding dear to our hearts, kindness, love, qualities of, uh, of connectedness. So yeah, this is what I would, if I wanted to improve these other things, I would suggest. <laughs> My main message of the rainbow um, is that we are all the colours of the rainbow. We are multifaceted, multi-spectrum, incredible human beings. And when we share and when we give of ourselves in love and truth and not needing anything back, just sharing, we get everything that we could ask for and more. So it is a, a real, it's a deep spiritual gift that the rainbow represents for me. It is that gnosis, it's a gnosis and understanding that the more that I give, the more I really truly do receive on a level that I had no idea that I even needed the things that I get. But when I get them, I'm very thankful. <laughs> so yeah, I think that's the message of the rainbow. It's to give unconditionally, to love unconditionally. Would you like to add something? <sighs> Would I like to add something? Well, thank you to the mountains, thank you to Pachamama, thank you to this beautiful, beautiful place. It, the whole rainbow has been an absolute gift. I feel honoured. And for me right now, it's also time to go. <laughs>